see, the, the strongest thing a person has is his mind. No matter how bad you was hurt, your job was to get in that race car and do the best you could with it. Richard is driving this one with a back injury he received a couple of weeks ago in an accident. That bandana around his neck is lashed to the roll bar to help hold his head up through the turns. Between the obligations you had to you and your family and the people that you worked with, in your mind, you just went and done it. You didn't think anything about it. If you had a broke leg, you got in the car. If your ribs were broke, you got in the car. If your neck was broke, you got in the car. You know, shoulder broke, they taped the dang thing up and put you in the car and you went. And you, you never thought about not doing it because that was your job. What was the hardest crash you think you've been through? You know, <laughs> something like uh, we was running Asheville Weaverville. Uh, come off the fourth turn, blew a tire hit the cement wall, and the car just stopped. Richard, I noticed you're just stepping out of the infirmary moments before the race. For what reason? Well, I got my ribs hurt uh, last week at, uh, I asked for Weaverville when I ran into the wall, and uh, they taped them up and gave me a shot in there just to make sure they weren't going to hurt me during the race. What about your hand here? Well, I stove it up a little bit, too, and I figured I've been playing, used to play football, and they always wrapped them up and made them feel good. I figured I'd just do that, too. He or the time he got the cast and he went to the shop and he just sawed it, sawed it right off and came or home. We have to lay in the bed all day on Monday because something was yeah. broken or something yeah. was sore. Oh yes, he had hurt ribs, he had a hurt collarbone, he hurt, had hurt legs, hurt hands. I mean, something was bandaged and tied up tight all the time. Richard Petty, back from the field hospital. Are you all right, Richard? Yeah, all right. I blew the engine and the piece got under the tire and blew the tire all the same time. I spun hit the wall. I got my hand cut getting out of the race car. A lot of times I didn't know if it was really that bad as he made it out or he was just trying to be this big martyr that can drive the race with a broken arm or a broken hand. <laughs> <laughs> we was... Uh... Pocono, uh, Pennsylvania in 1980, I think, somewhere right along there. I'm going in the turn and the wheel brakes and I run up on the guard guardrail and catch fence and turn the car over and just tear it all to pieces. <clears throat> and Dale Inman, crew chief, he runs down there and wants to know what's going on. I said, I think I broke my neck, but don't know. So they laid <laughs> me down, they took me to the little hospital down somewhere there in Pennsylvania. And so I'm laying there and my wife's there and we sort of waiting on the doctor to come in. He comes in with his x-ray and he's looking at the lights and looking at it and he said, when did you have your neck broke before? I said, I didn't know I had it broke before. And he, he, he showed the x-ray where it moved over about an eighth of an inch, one of the vertebrae or something that had a crack in and had calcium around it. And I said, well, probably broke it sometime when I broke something else and it hurt worse. So your body can only hurt one place at a time. He went to the shop and he made a special seat. It fit him just like the seat in his car. And every night he would put it in front of the TV. And he would, you know, be like this for hours to gain the strength back in his um, but, arm. But you have shoulder. to realize, you have to realize like, for as Which many wins as he did, we, we he, he's totaled a lot of cars too. I mean, he has wrecked a lot <laughs> of cars a lot of too. Rats. Been a crash on the home stretch. A car upside down. And that's a Richard blue Petty. car. It is Richard Petty. Probably I'm walking around now with a concussion and don't even know it. Had so many con so I don't know how I'd be if you didn't have a concussion. But yeah, you you know it's you know it's got a beat on your head and slow down something. So I don't know if Alzheimer's or something like that. If I would have a start up deal on that, I, I don't know. So far, I can remember to get up and, and eat and go to bed, so I'm okay. <laughs>